don't like that key. Okay, I'm gonna put it up some. How about here? Uh, no, I don't like that either. Okay, let me try up here. Okay, let me see if I can. I'm gonna be super honest with you. There's no perfect key to sing in as a vocalist. But why is that exactly? Well, because for any specific key that you choose, it could have very easy or very, very difficult notes for you to sing. Let's say that you found the key of G is typically pretty good for you to sing in. Maybe you really like singing Sweet Home Alabama. Sweet Home Alabama. But what if there's another song in the key of G that has all G4s, like an octave above where you're used to singing? Well, I can think of a song just like that. We can think of the bridge in the song Creep. It, sp it stays almost completely above the G4 right here, which is above a guy's first passage. She That song is seriously hard to sing, but they're both within the key of G. Now, what I believe that a lot of people are saying when they're saying, oh, this is a good key for me to sing in, is that in general, there are some songs that typically they've noticed tend to hang out in a good area of their voice. And while I can't guarantee that there's a specific key that will always fit your voice, we can definitely take a look at the way that melodies come together and say that there are some melodic tendencies and probably find some good rules of thumb for you to follow when looking for a song. Melody, in case you're not aware, is the main vocal line of the song. It's the part that you whistle, or uh, in this case, the part that you sing. Now, when I say that melodies have tendencies, what I mean is that for any chord that you play, there are typically three notes that the melody will tend to follow. So in the case of the key of C, there are three main notes that the vocal line would probably follow. They would be C, E, and G. And if you know any chord theory, you'll know that I got those notes by looking at the first, the third, and the fifth, which make up a major chord, a first, a third, and a fifth. In the case of C, we count up from C, C being one, D, E being three, F, and G being five. So C, E, G, one, three, five. Now let's combine that with some of the information that we know about vocal bridges and where the vocal break is for guys and girls. Well, most men's voices have a change between their chest voice and their head voice between around a D4, Ma, ma, mom, and an E4, this note. Ma, ma, mom. And most women have that same change from their chest voice up to their head voice around this G4. Ma, ma, mom, and the A4. Ma, ma, mom. Now, if we assume, and that's a big assumption here, uh, and I don't have to remind you what happens when we assume, but if we assume that most of the chords within a specific key are gonna stay around that one, three, and five, then we can start to make a better educated guess about which songs are going to fall within that range. And since typically we wanna spend most of our time singing below our bridge, or maybe a little bit of time into it, we can actually start to apply this to finding keys that work for you. So now I'm really gonna test your music theory here. Now, if we assume that the melody of the song that we're choosing is going to stay around that one, three, and five uh, of the major chords, then for instance, we can look at the key of C. Now for every key that we play in, there's basically three main chords that the melody will tend to revolve around. It's usually around the one chord, which is the root chord, in this case C, the four chord, in this case F, and the five chord, which is G in the key of C. That means if we think about what the one, three, and five of each of those chords is, then we can see how it compares to where the break is. So in this case, in C, we've got C, E, and G. Okay, good so far, we're below the break. Then we've got F, A, C for uh, the accord of F. Uh, still good there, we're still below the bridge. And then we have the chord G, which is made up of a G, B, and a D. 
and uh, it's just that D that is starting to get close to the bridge. In this case, I think we're pretty safe. Using the same theory, we can basically assume that keys from C up to E will tend to be pretty good for guys. And that kind of follows with what we see um, a lot of people doing, especially guitar players will tend to write songs around uh, the E chord or around the C chord because they tend to be pretty easy and even some D chords, of course. And that's all within that same range that I just mentioned. And again, I can't stress this enough. This is not a guarantee that anything from C to E is going to fit your voice because this is still assuming that there's not a single note of the melody that goes up above the fifth chord degree uh, of the fifth chord. Uh, in the case of C, that would be G, and the fifth of G would be a D. So again, we're just assuming that nothing's going above that or that we're not singing an octave above that. You know, we could sing the key of C, but an octave higher than I played before. So C, E, G. Uh, that's C3, E3, and G3. Well, if I just move that up an octave to a C4, E4, and a G4, that would be very difficult indeed. So I can sing ma 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 very easily, but singing a ma 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 is a lot harder. And there are a million exceptions to this, but I just wanted to give you some guidelines to get started. Now, let's talk about for females' voices. Again, if we think about most ladies' voices having their vocal break around this G4 or this A4, and we think about the keys that stay in that 1-4-5 progression that don't have melodies uh, that really, really get too far above that bridge, then we actually see that songs between the key of G and the key of B tend to be pretty good for ladies. And I'll walk you through how I did that again. So if we look at the one, four, and five chord of each of those keys that I mentioned, so in the key of G, the one chord would be G, the four chord would be C, and the five chord would be D. So if we look at the highest note in the chord D, that would be an A, and that's just starting to hit a lady's first bridge. And that brings us all the way up to B, because I said that uh, anywhere from the key of G up to the key of B would probably be good for women in general. And again, that's assuming that it doesn't go an octave higher or go above the fifth of the melody. But if we look at the key of B, our one chord is a B, where our highest note is an F sharp. Our four chord is an E, where the highest note would be a B and our five chord would be an F sharp, where the highest note is a C sharp, and that's just at the very top of a lady's first bridge. Now, I just wanna say again, there are a million exceptions to these rules, but I wanted to give you a place to get started. For guys, you can think about keys from C, C sharp, D, E flat, and E as probably being pretty friendly because most of those notes are gonna fall below or at your first passage. And for ladies, from G, A flat, A, B flat, and B, because those notes, again, are probably going to be below or just at your first passage. In the end, it doesn't matter what key you choose to sing in, as long as you sound good and it feels comfortable. Rock on. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, but most importantly, ring that bell to turn on notifications to get notified anytime I drop an amazing new video like this.